A new non-peer-reviewed study of more than 84,000 people has found that coronavirus could age the brain 10 years. Yeah, we know the virus impacts the heart, kidneys, and lungs, but now there's more information showing that the brain may also be a target of the virus. Health reporter Haley Hernandez is joining us now to explain more on this. Haley? Yeah, guys, this is so strange because every time I interviewed a patient who recovered from the virus, they all made mention that they felt cloudy, foggy, they couldn't recall words anymore. After recovering from the virus, though, it all seemed like an afterthought, something that was kind of minor. But a new study shows it might be worse than we thought. Imperial College London found that some coronavirus infections was linked to cognitive deficits for months. Researchers said the impact was equal to a 10-year decline. Which is quite disturbing because while they have recovered physically, Mentally, they have not. Dr. Gerard Francisco, chief medical officer at Tier Memorial Hermann, said whether you're young and healthy or old with a chronic illness, anyone may be susceptible to this side effect. The severity of the initial uh, presentation of coronavirus infection does not correlate with the development of, of uh, brain fog. In fact, there are many people who complain of brain fog who had very mild symptoms. So the question remains, will it go away? If we are to extrapolate what we have learned from the MERS and the SARS epidemics and pandemics, some of them have had the problems have for many years, uh, while others uh, recovered within a few weeks or a few months. Here at Tier Memorial Hermann, he's working with COVID patients, much like stroke or traumatic brain injury patients who lose brain function. And he tells me there are likely more COVID patients suffering from this complication who haven't even realized what it was. I think it is well worth trying what we know has worked for people with other neurologic conditions, and that might help people recovering from, uh, from COVID. Yeah, and Dr. Francisco says the most important next step is determining why and how these complications are happening because really, until they determine exactly what is a long-term complication and what's something that might just go away, they're going to have a hard time determining exactly how to treat it. Christine. And 